Hey everybody. Just wanted to uh, show you all my last year's project that a, a friend of mine, he kind of challenged me to make him one. It's a poor man's air conditioner. He said he went online and seen a few people making these air conditioners that use some tubing and some water and a pump and he said, can you make one better? I was like, I don't know, I'll see. And all he told me what it consisted of, he didn't actually show me, so I kind of got the general idea. And I had some stuff laying around the house, out in the garage. Uh, it glue cooler. Had that thing, and just never used it no more. I'm guessing it's probably 45 quart, 50 quart cooler, I guess, I don't know. Uh, transmission cooler brand new in the box that I had sitting on the shelf otherwise I would have never used it but it's uh, brand new half inch line and I had some wood laying around and I ended up cutting this stuff up kinda make a box for my my transmission cooler there and as you can tell I notched it and recessed the wood so my lines can fit snugly in there now I use this piece of wood to cap it off to hold hold this from coming out on both sides kind of looks like fingers over here and I kind of sealed it up with some loose foam just you know just for to try it out you know it's not like it's totally 100% sealed up but uh, a one inch PVC pipe from right to left I have it going and then there's a hole that allows the condensation that drips off of this through this plastic hose here. Now the back it consists of a 12 volt fan from an automotive store. Uh, they're about I don't know 15 maybe $20 depends on where you get them. I took the front guard off of it and did away with it so I get a little better flow and sealed this box up pretty good. I, I kept all the all the cuts as tight as possible to the box. I even radiused it here so it wouldn't slide back and forth on top of the cooler. As you can tell in the front and in the back on both sides. So anyhow, uh, inside. Let's go to inside here. Inside consisted of thousand gallon per hour bilge pump for a boat I uh, bought that at Harbor Freight for I think 19 or 20 dollars it's 12 volt submersible and then I made a adapter that you see there that fits a half inch aluminum fuel line that I have and I took it about 10 feet of it and I took and made my bends I started from the bottom and I made my bends and I started making my coil work from the bottom up where you see it come out over here right behind that tag that you see it comes out and then it flows up in through the lid I have two holes drilled for one return and and one you know a return line also that you see right here so anyhow it comes up comes up here goes through the top of the coil works its way down goes through my return line here it goes back in now you can have it going two two ways you can have it going over top of your ice which is going to make it melt a little bit more rapidly but it will make it a lot colder the the water a lot colder um, you have it underneath the ice it won't make it melt as quickly because there's no physical contact of water going over the ice it's just cooling the ice that's sitting in there You'll get um, maybe a few degrees warmer temperature, but it makes your ice last a lot longer. And you just fill this thing plumb up, I guess, maybe 40 pounds of ice. Or something. So, there it is. My uh, poor man's air conditioner. Redneck air conditioner. It was just something to play around with. Like I said, my friend, he just kind of challenged me to make something out of nothing, basically. And I had this stuff kind of laying around. He just kind of told me to MacGyver something together. So, there you go. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh, and just to give you an idea, 
I did do a half an hour test. I did a 30 minute test with this um, about a week after I made it. I put it in the back of my pickup truck which has a camper shell and it had 104 degrees Fahrenheit temperature inside. I stuck this in here and filled it up with ice, put about a gallon and a half of water, plugged everything in, plugged the two plugs in, the bilge pump and the fan, and I let it run for 30 minutes. And I came back and it went from 104 down to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now whether that's good or bad I don't know but it's a substantial amount of difference from what it was so uh, if you all know anything about HVAC stuff I don't know if that's if that's a uh, like the standard difference that it's supposed to be or if that just plain out sucks but anyhow I uh, just figured I'd show you all so let me know what you think and uh, until next video I'll see y'all later